Good morning guys and welcome to this fertility yoga class. So this class is going to be suitable for whichever stage of the cycle you're at. If you've never practiced fertility yoga with me before, I have a free guide. I'll leave it linked below. And if you did want some other specific classes for the different stages of the cycle, they'll be linked below as well. Let's get into this class. So it's really nice in morning yoga classes just to wake the body up slowly and then to build a little bit of energy so that we feel good for the rest of the day. So that's what we're going to do today. So I want you to take a comfortable seat. You might have the ankles crossed or you can take the legs out in front of you if that feels better, maybe sitting up on a cushion or a bolster. I just want you to roll the shoulders back and down a couple of times, just releasing any tension that you might be holding in this area. Start deepening your breathing, really starting to wake the body up. And then just gently rocking the body from side to side, just feeling into the hips, into the pelvis, maybe noticing any tension that you might be holding. And then we're gonna go forward and back. So as you inhale, opening up the chest a little, really lengthening through the spine. And then as you exhale, rounding. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then let's take some pelvic circles, working into the belly. So it should feel like a really nice little massage for the digestive system for any tension that we also might be holding in this space and then reverse your circles in the other direction. And then come back to center. As you inhale, take those arms wide up towards the sky. Interlace the fingers, reach up tall, take them over to one side. So this should really be about starting to feel good in your body really arriving in your body this morning. And then come to center, we're gonna open out to the right side. Just reach the fingertips down towards the floor and look over the right shoulder. Find that length through the spine, so really pressing down into the sit bones, lifting the crown of the head tall. And then inhale all the way up, interlace the hands. Reach up tall, reach the shoulders up towards the ears and then see if you can exhale and drop the shoulders away. And then bring the hands down, looking over the left shoulder. Still feeling nice and tall through the spine. And then returning back to the front. I want you to bring the feet out in front of you and make sure that they're a little bit wider than hip distance. As you exhale, we're gonna bring them down to one side. Inhale the arm up. And then exhale, look over that right shoulder. Inhale, coming up. We're gonna move the legs all the way over to the other side. Inhale it up. And exhale the hand down. We're gonna do this a couple more times and I really want you to just feel into your body. And if anything feels good, move in that way. I don't want you to feel like you have to always follow exactly as I do. So maybe it feels good to move a little bit further back. Maybe it feels good to move forward. Just start to cultivate that feeling of play and just being present and aware of your body. And one more time, coming back the other way. soles of the feet in towards each other now bring them as close into the body as you can I just want you to just bounce those knees up and down and I want you to see if you can soften and relax into this inner thigh area so sometimes we hold a lot of tension there and we're like we're doing it right it's not about tension it's just seeing if you can create that movement and then soften into it And 
and take a deep breath in, lift the knees up high, and then as you exhale, see if you can soften them down. And we just find a little bit of stillness here. So maybe you close down the eyes. Be aware of that breath in and out. take the left leg out to the side and then just tuck that right foot in a little bit more. I want you to reach down that left side in a beautiful stretch through that side of the body and then bring the hand behind and create a little bit of twisting here. We're going to plant that right hand down now and press into that bottom leg and just lift up. It's like a modified side plank, stretching all the way over. And then coming all the way back down. Let's come back to the other side. And then this time I want you to drop both hands over that left leg. Inhale, lift through the spine and then exhale, fold. So take a couple more breaths here. Inhale, lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale. And exhale. And then come back to center. Bring the leg in, take the other one out. And we're folding over towards the right side. And then bring that left hand behind, see if you can find a bit of a stretch, a twist here. Again, moving in a way that feels good for you. So if you need to ease up a bit, do that. If you need to reach down a bit more to feel that stretch through the hamstring, then do that. And then bring that left hand down. We're gonna press into that left shin as you reach up, stretch over. And then come all the way back down to that same side. And then come to frame that right leg as you inhale, take a breath. Exhale and fold. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale and fold. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale and fold. And then come to sit back in center. Take that left leg out. So a nice wide leg now. Just sitting up tall. So for some of you, just sitting like this is going to be a very big stretch for the hamstrings. You may even need to have bent knees here or maybe bring the width in a little bit. If you do have quite a lot of flexibility, you may need to gently lean into the stretch to feel it. So again, just feel what works for your body. We're all at different stages. Our bodies do different things every day, so depending on whether you work in something quite physical or you sit in an office chair, all of these things are gonna vary how your body feels in this pose. So just find a way to be in this pose that works for you. It doesn't have to look exactly as mine does. As you inhale, come to sit back up. We're gonna come into our malasana now. So we're gonna come up onto the feet and bring them about hip distance apart. Your heels may or may not touch the ground, but we're gonna just move from side to side. And just kind of rock in and out of those hips. So if you do have your period at the moment, this may not feel very nice and you may wanna move into a more restorative pose at this time. Feel free to do that. So you might come into your child's pose or you might come into Shavasana or you might change this video entirely and go and practice one of my classes specifically for when you have your period. Any other stage of the cycle, this often feels quite nice on the hips, working to increase the circulation in this area. And then we're gonna settle into our malasana. So again, your heels might find the ground or they may not. Elbows inside the knee, hands to heart, lift through the heart. And then we're gonna find our forward fold. So bring the feet underneath the hips, and bring the hands to elbows and just let that upper body hang, swaying it out here. Usually first thing in the morning, our hamstrings are quite tight, so you might need to have a substantial bend through the knees. And just let that upper body be really heavy. 
side to side. I want you to breathe deeply into that low belly. And regardless of how busy your day might actually be, I want you to keep telling yourself that you have all the time in the world, that you have so much time for this, that everything will work out, how good this feels, just to be here and now and present in your body. to bring the hands onto the shins as you inhale halfway lift so lengthen and straighten the legs straighten the back exhale and fold inhale and exhale so starting to use the breath just to bring a bit more energy to the body inhale and exhale and then this time we're going to come all the way up inhale to chair pose and then exhale let it go <laughs> And again, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, let it go. So because we've got the knees nice and wide and there's no belly compression, this is fine for all stages of cycle. It just might be a bit too much when you have your period. Exhale, let us go. All right, hang out here for another moment. Breathe, let the upper body get heavy. And then bring the hands to the mat and bring the knees down, come into a kneel. Just sitting up on the feet, bringing the hands to heart. And I just want you to notice the energy that you've created in the body just by this really short, simple practice. And just through stretching out through the legs, creating a bit more space through the pelvis. Just want you to notice how your body feels. Notice your heart. Notice your mind your womb space. Notice the weight on your shoulders. Just notice all these things. They may still be heavy. And hopefully this class has helped just to lighten the load just a little bit. Take as long as you need here. Just noticing and just breathing. Centering yourself in your body. Preparing yourself for the day. You might, you might like to take some time here and now to practice some visualization. You might like to do some journaling. I like to do morning pages and just write out three pages of whatever is on my mind. And I find that helps to set me up for a really good day. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.